Sliders is only about two years old, but it's already achieved cult status. Now, the comic book spin-off, done by Acclaim, has achieved success on its own. We talked to the guys on the comic. So let's slide on over. Yeah, our writers are so good. Okay, we're here at Acclaim Comics, a virtual paper war warfield, checking out the Sliders comic, an adaptation of the TV series. We're here with Dan Chichester. Chai Chester. Chai Chester. Now he's the writer of Sliders. Uh, Dan, tell me, what is Sliders? Sliders, both the television and the comic book, are about this group of travelers who are caught in this interdimensional journey. They're going from alternate dimension to alternate dimension, visiting parallel Earths that are like our Earth, but also have very vast or subtle differences. Now, who are the characters? The characters are Quinn Mallory, who's the physicist who invented the whole sliding process. His professor and teacher, Maximilian Arturo, who's this enormous brag Rembrandt Crying Man Brown, who's the soul singer from the 60s, who's completely caught up in this thing by accident, and Wade Wells, who's a sort of computer hacker and, and Quinn's sometimes girlfriend. Okay, now what are some of the plot lines you have coming up? Plot lines are complete what if, out the window, anything goes. Anything can happen on these Earths, from giant ants going overrunning the Earth to Atlantis never sinking to the Russians taking over America. Anything can happen on this and will in both the comic and the TV show. Cool. Well, we're going to slide over here and check out the guys from Atomic Paintbrush. So tell me about the coloring process. It starts out like this, black and white, and it's translated onto the computer using Photoshop. And we can do all kinds of special effects with this program, so it really brings comics to another level. Next up, we have the editor of the book. Yeah. Do you have any crossovers planned or vice versa with the TV series? Well, we've used some aliens from uh, the TV show in the uh, early issues of Sliders, and later on, we're going to be revealing a little bit uh, about a, a secret uh, surrounding Professor Arturo that'll be revealed uh, later this season. Ooh, cool. All right, next up we have Jeff Vita. Now, he's a writer and assistant editor of Sliders. Uh, original artwork. You saw the series on TV. Did you ever think it'd be a comic? Oh, yeah, I, I thought it would make a great comic just because of, of everything that you can do in comic books that you might not be able to do on TV. So, uh, you know, if we want giant ants, we got giant ants. If we want a train exploding uh, underground, we got a train exploding in the, you know, Anything goes, and uh, we, we plan to do it. Very cool. All right, check it out. Sliders, acclaim, and please come help me. This just in. The first ever painted Vampirella miniseries is coming in early 1997 with art by Joe Jusco and story by James Robinson. How can DC heroes triumph over total darkness? Read the final night miniseries to find out. In bone number 26, Thorn finally reaches the turning and Phony Bone marches to slay a dragon. The Incredible Hulk and Tekimuyo in love. Next. <laughs>